Now that your electrolytes are all within normal limits, I'm gonna have a tray of food sent in for you. <laughs> you really think I'm gonna eat that green jello? You're out of your mind. You won't have to. I stopped at the deli when I went out. I was expecting the green jello excuse. Mm. So somebody's looking out for you. And you can't tell anybody that I'm here. Remember that. I heard you. Is this beef jerky? Teriyaki flavor, lots of protein. Yeah, all right, I'll get my protein from this. Whatever, okay, I'm gonna go. Call me when you're sprung, I'll pick you up. Uh, you can't go anywhere. I'm not the one in the hospital gown. No, but you have to keep an eye out. Make sure nobody from the media finds out. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I pay you. You're my assistant. You do what I say. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> What's the big deal if someone finds out, anyway? <sighs> right, that I collapsed. Please. It's gonna make me look weak. Can't let Jack Montgomery use that to his advantage. I don't think he's the kind of guy who would do that. Believe me. Jack, he's gonna use everything he possibly can to make sure his daughter goes free. Fine. I guess we're in this together. I still don't think you're right, though. Please. You don't know criminal law. You use every advantage you can. I don't mean the trial. I mean about this job being the only thing you've got. It's not true. You got Colby. I'm sure that if I called her right now and no. told her you were here... No! Do not call Colby. I don't want her to know that I'm in here. I certainly want her to come like this. She probably thinks I'm making this whole thing up anyway. I mean, she hates me enough, right? Hey. Got me too. I was trying to get some reasonable doubt going, not build the case against Ryan, but that's exactly the way this could all end up. Well, I think Ryan is at peace with that. <laughs> he doesn't even remember what happened the night David was murdered. Yeah, I think Ryan is so concerned with getting Greenley off the hook, he's not even thinking about saving his own hide. But I will tell you that if she knew about this Pearson thing, she'd find me tooth and nail. She really cares about Ryan, doesn't she? She loves him. It's become clearer to me with every passing day. Whether she would admit it or not, that's a different story. But if he ends up being charged with David's murder because of what I'm doing... You're afraid she'll never forgive you? Yeah. So even if I keep my daughter from going to prison, I lose her anyway. Good morning, Pete. Here's to getting everything back to their rightful owners. Ah. Yes, sir. Well, Dorothy, good morning. Are you all right? I'm great. Why? Okay. Don't move. What are you doing? Stay there. What? Just needed to get a picture of you with a smile on your face just to prove that uh, Caleb Cortland can be happy. Well, I don't think I was really smiling when you took that picture, but I'm happy because I'm finally able to pay Pete back for all that he's done for me. Tell me something, Caleb. What exactly has Palmer done for you that you are still feeling so beholden to him? Can you believe that guy? He makes me sick. He thinks that I'm just gonna cave and hand him Cortland? Like he controls everything. I've gotta come up with a way to put him out of commission. He needs to go down. This time, stay down. I have to find a way that he's not gonna see it coming. Well, I've got something for you that'll cut him off the knees. Well, the fact that he dished you as a kid, that's not gonna cut it. Oh, yeah? How about this? Caleb killed my mother. That's... How long have you known? A while. It's taking you this long to tell someone about it? Believe me, it's been hard sometimes. <laughs> I mean, especially when you see how full of himself he is and how he treats everyone. I mean, he thinks that you're the criminal, the loser. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't understand. How did he? I don't know all the facts. I just know that my mom is dead. And he walks around like nothing ever happened. I'm sorry. Someone comes after your mom like that. I know what it's like. And he just gave me up as soon as she was gone. Couldn't keep me around as a reminder of what he did. Take a seat. How'd you find out that it happened? Were you there 
did someone tell you? I was a baby. The people who raised me, they didn't talk about it. One day I got curious, dug deeper, and started asking questions. And what did you find out? My mom and Caleb were together, but things weren't going right for a while. So they split. Caleb was a lawyer at the time still. He got this case representing these wildcatters at this high-risk mine. He met up with my mom at the mine one night. No one knows why, but there was an explosion. She ended up dead. Did he cause it? Or he knew it was about to happen. Maybe he just thought it was an easy way to get out of relationship. Are you sure? He disappeared right after, with Palmer Cortland's help. I mean, doesn't that look a little suspicious? Yeah. Were there any charges filed? No. But there were rumors about how the explosion wasn't an accident. Just some kind of cover-up. So Caleb's got some twisted secret. And he thought it died with Palmer. It didn't. Never will. I will make sure of that. He willed me his name, his company. At first I rejected it, and now I'm trying to make up for it. And if Palmer were here, I'm sure he'd be very proud of you. Maybe. Let's get to work. Not so fast. There's something else I'm curious about. What? When are you going to stop underestimating me? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe you. I mean, you can keep it all inside if that's what you choose to do. That's fine. But please just tell me that it's over. It's all over and it's never coming back again. It's not going to hamper us in any way running Cortland Electronics. And then I will happily drop it. If it weren't for Pete, I probably wouldn't be alive today. You're not going to lose her. You don't know Greenlee as well as I do. If she thinks someone has betrayed her... Listen, she's got to understand that you're fighting for her life. You can't hold back. Even if it ruins Ryan's life? All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? What happened? It's gone. Everything's gone. What? What did you do? I didn't do anything, including say what I was working. All my notes for the afternoon session. Damn. No, no, Jackson, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Listen, we'll um, we'll work together. We'll we'll try to figure out what you wrote. Yeah, great. Then I can type it back in, and it'll be gone again. This miserable. No, that's that's why I'm going to write them out in longhand. I'll, I'll type them into the office computer, and uh, I'll have you a hard copy ready before you get back to the courtroom. Okay? Yeah. It's going to be okay. <laughs> you know, you really are amazing. I'm your friend. And your daughter is in crisis. All right? And when that happens and you feel like there's nothing you can do to help, it can send you right over the edge. I know. I'm on that same edge with Marissa in this horrible custody battle. Oh, I'm so sorry. I haven't even asked you about oh, that. What's going on, please, there? With everything going on with you, I didn't expect you to. The bottom line is, I get it. You know, I mean, the truth is we can't always make things good for our daughters. <laughs> Listen, sometimes the best we can do is just let them know that we love them and pray to God that everything turns out okay on the other end. Words of wisdom indeed. Wow, do I look like a peach? Oh, I suppose you'd like it plain. Yeah, you got a problem with that? Does everything you do have to be so hardcore? You know, it didn't always used to be like that. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. When I was in high school, I, uh... <laughs> I was a little princess. I was queen. I was. Go ahead. You can laugh all you want. But I was rich and I was beautiful and I was the most popular girl in school. <laughs> that was until Jenny came along. Jenny? Oh, yeah, Jenny. 
It was Ted's sister. She was my competition. I think that's when I started to fight. And I've been fighting ever since. I really think this exhaustion and dehydration is getting to me because here I am telling you, of all people, this. After everything I've done to try and screw you over. Well, you went for the jugular. Now I kind of get why. <laughs>